This is a complete beginner's guide on Intel CPUs. So I'm going to break down what you need to know as a complete beginner. The i5 doesn't mean anything by itself or the i7 or the i9 it doesn't mean anything by itself. You got to follow all the other things attached to the i number next to it. So for example, you could have an older i5 or a brand new i5. The only thing that matters first is the model number, for example. So you might have the i5 12600K, for example. And to break that down, it means that the 12 is the 12th generation, which is the year that it was bought out. The 600 means that it is its performance ranking within that generation and then the k is a special version generations are basically the age of the cpu so for example you've got the 12th gen you've got the 13th gen you've also got the 14th gen or you've even got old versions like the 10th gen for example so you want to look for an i5 that is mid-level that is more of a 12th 13th gen for getting something that's cost affordable for example and then the letter at the end tells you the type of Intel chip. So for example, you've got uh, K, which means that it is overclocked and it's the fastest version. Or you have F and it has no graphics and it needs a graphics card to be able to run it. And then you have KF and it has both overclocked and no graphics. And it is the cheapest high performance option available. And then you have no letters, which are regular versions and that's just a normal CPU, for example. 